Up until recently, you rarely heard somebody, anybody in the arts, make the whole case, the, what we call the holistic case, for public support of arts and culture. That is to draw the whole map. The intrinsic value of arts and culture, our personal identity, our national identity, how we develop empathetic citizens, our quality of life, inspiration, excitement, all of those things are, if you like, a statement of philosophy. Then the benefits to society, wherever you look, in old people's homes, in hospitals, in prisons, you will find arts and culture doing wonderful things to change people's lives. There are GPs now who are prescribing books and art classes and it's working. There are museums who have dementia programs. Uh, across the board you find these benefits to society and it's very important we articulate them. Then when you come to education, primary education, secondary education, tertiary, continuing lifelong learning. And in there, there's some really interesting new policy ideas about the visual arts and, and the performing arts being properly represented because it's from those we get the great talent developing that feeds through into our creative industries. So there's some really important education political issues there. The creative industries are now growing at three times the rate of the economy. Arts and culture is the incubation of the talent for the creative industries. That's demonstrable. Think Steve McQueen, uh, think Danny Boyle, both Oscar-winning directors who um, started off in publicly supported arts. In every town and city you go to, arts is one of the reasons visitors come. It's the tourist basis of the tourist economy. So across the board, the arts is delivering economic value. So that's the holistic case. So here are three things everyone can do to make the case for arts and culture and its public support. The first is create your own story. So from that holistic case, build up what your own institution does for your locality. Articulate it. Make sure everybody who works for you understands it. They're all ambassadors for the work you do and get that story out. Secondly, communicate your story. How do you get that story out? Well, we all know now it's basic good marketing. It's your social media channels. It's uh, all your, your publicity material. It's all your day-to-day -day contact. It's getting that story communicated just as you would promote a play, an exhibition, or anything else. And thirdly, build relationships with your local politicians and opinion formers. They all, if they don't already, need to absolutely get and subscribe to the value of arts and culture in the community and the specific value of what your organisation does. So there you have it, those are the three asks, that's the holistic case, and of course it's all gone over in the Arts Council's Advocacy Toolkit.